Hello everyone and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga. My name is Ilkion Wiersma and I'm a grower from the Netherlands, before I forget. I quite often forget to uh, put it in the videos, but I, uh, like I said, I'm from the Netherlands and today I am joining in on a beautiful care collab again. And yeah, it's not one of those. <laughs> it's a Vanda, but uh, I wish it was as big as these uh, guys. Before I'm going to zoom in on the, on the actual two that I have, uh, and talk about them. I uh, just wanted to uh, share with you who are also uh, participating in this care collab. And uh, first we have plants and other things. Then we have Orchidea. And then we have Ninja Orchids. Nina from Ninja Orchids. And myself, of course. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's not one of those. I wish. Well, actually, this one is not doing so well. But anyhow, you get the. I was referring to the size now they are a bit smaller so I'm going to point down the camera and there we have it we have one it's still uh, one that's still uh, with us Evanda Densoniana and I have one here but sadly as you can see it has crown rot it wasn't a good uh, grow to begin with but I didn't pay much for it so I just just thought well I'm going to take the chance because these vendors are very hard to find at a decent size at least here in Europe but yeah this, so this is one that is still uh, left and as you can see it's making roots I'm going to try to zoom in as best as I can it's a small one but I'm very happy and um, I'm going to try to let you see that these roots are branching the one in the front here now in the middle of the screen you see a little branch going in there I grow this um, in lava rock, as you can see, and in a terracotta pot. I do that with my vandas since this year, because I had them in glass faces and it did do very well in those faces. But the algae growth was uh, incredible. I could, uh, especially when I started to grow them in, uh, in the greenhouse, I had a lot of algae going on. So therefore I stopped using those glass faces because I couldn't keep up with the, with the cleaning part. And I really like this because I now can also flush them. I uh, did get quite some deposit crystals, etc. around the pot, but I don't mind. It's uh, it's okay. I'm going to leave it there. I uh, don't fertilize them very high, but I fertilize them very regularly. So around 100 parts per million, two to three times a week. And um, in between, I like to flush with uh, with water if necessary. But so far so good. I don't see uh, salt built up in a pot, but I keep them fairly damp and I think they uh, they really enjoy it. So that is uh, the first part of the of the care. And I have it sitting here. It does receive quite some light. And as you can see, I have that shade paint on my, uh, on my uh, greenhouse. And those translucent spots uh, dip, uh, are... Um, showing up when it's raining and it's a rainy day today so that's the nice thing of that paint it will get translucent when it's wet if it's dry it will start more like this this area this area is a little bit drier but uh, i have it facing let's say southeast something about that we have i don't have it completely uh, facing south and um well, actually, I can go outside quickly, so you can have a better idea what I'm talking about. So uh, let's do that quickly, and then uh, we will back, uh, be back in the greenhouse. So yeah, I'll try to do this. I, uh, it always makes it very uh, feel very windy, and it is windy, but not as much as uh, most of the times my mic uh, indicates. So I apologize for the noise, but I just wanted to show you the trees. We have one apple tree here, one here and then a uh, very fairly big willow tree over here. And those are more south facing, so it's something from this area. I get it filtered first, and that's uh, absolutely fine. I'm very happy with that actually, because in summer it takes the heat out uh, of the greenhouse. And then during the day it, go, it goes behind the trees, and then my vendors do get a lot of light, because my Densoniana is right about there, I think. So yeah, you have now a bit of a better idea that my greenhouse is nicely covered, <laughs> uh, yeah, set up uh, in, uh, behind the trees. 
and uh, it's this it is a part of the house so it's really uh, beautiful I'm really happy with it but uh, let's go inside and I hope it wasn't uh, too windy so I'm back into the greenhouse it's a bit more comfortable here it's not that cold outside yet but still it's uh, a bit easier here no wind I did uh, turn off the ventilator so we can talk a little bit better about this beautiful plant but yeah now you have a bit of an idea how much light it gets. I give it uh, as much light as I can but I have it on the lower shelf because it's a fairly small plant so I don't want to overdo it I don't want to stress it but I think it, uh, it's enjoying it the ones are really on top to get uh, the sun from the side but also from uh, from the uh, uh, from the above so uh, they get a lot of sun and then it filters down towards uh, my uh, telumnias there in the back and uh, this uh, Venda Densoniana and it's a small one so I uh, like I said I don't want to do overdo it but um, yeah this is basically it and like I said I can try to give it a bit of close-up in a pot you can see there there's a root going down into the media and we have more there in the here as well so yeah I think we have one dried up here but there behind it as you can see hopefully is one is going down into the pot as well so I think it, this one is going to be fine the other one like I said sadly as you can see it has crown rot so yeah I uh, I will throw that one away it's it's completely over sadly but I still have one left like I said, for me, very hard to come by here in Europe, so I thought, well, uh, I'm going to just go and give this a try, and hopefully one day it will be a very large, big plant. But, um, yeah, this is so far I can uh, tell you about the care that I give my uh, Vendor Densoniana. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I just want to thank you for being here with me. It's really, uh, I really appreciate it. And... Um, yeah, I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. And maybe you want to subscribe, that would be awesome, of course. But at least, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, like I said, hope to see you at one of my next ones. Bye-bye.